as uh, this French uh, anatomist said, we put a man on the moon, maybe we did, maybe we didn't, 25 years before we depicted the anatomy of the clitoris. Wow. We don't want women to know that they're sitting on a throne of gold. The point for the heart is the cervix. So imagine you let a guy in, and by the way, the, the tip of the penis is also the heart. And so a guy is, you're letting him into your heart. Women's energy is yin, our, and a man is young. Females love with their breasts. Our breasts are young. They stick out, you know, it's like, oh, I love you, I love you. To get to a man's heart, you go to the lower unit. To get to a woman's, you go to the upper unit. So women need to realize we cannot afford to let anyone in who doesn't cherish this part of us. And if we do prematurely, the oxytocin and the prolactin that will be elaborated will make you get addicted to him. And you will think that he's the one with the power when in fact, you're the one with the power. So you teach a girl to own her own power and and you also teach her how to bring her own self to orgasm and then you use that energy of the orgasm for what it is it is the it's the energy of god coming through your body it's a reset of the body and so what you do do it in ceremony and give that love out to the world use it as a manifestation tool you know sex magic when we raise a generation uh who are clear i mean look at how they've hijacked this in our schools here in maine there was an ad out there you know um sometimes doctors make mistakes and you don't know whether you're a girl or a boy they're literally indoctrinating five-year-olds now notice what this does this so destabilizes that you, your basic identity, I'm a man, I'm a woman, it so destabilizes it that you can um, teach, you can do anything. It's just creating a slave race. But man, when you can own and operate your sexuality on purpose, you've got the key to the car of your life and you know how to put it in the ignition. And for me later in life, actually learning Argentine tango was the embodiment of, okay, of femininity to, to be cherished, to be received. And the masculine role in tango, because it's a martial art, is to literally intuit what the feminine partner wants. So the masculine will actually, they're like, it's like surfing a wave. He's surfing the wave of the woman's desire. And this has nothing to do with sex and everything to do with sex.